everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Jennifer and you are watching the Lime Beauty channel if you aren't already subscribed then definitely please do subscribe I'm really trying to get this thing off the ground with this newfound commitment to this channel and you can also follow me on Instagram at Lime Beauty official or at hip miracles or if you want at both so the Lime Beauty channel that you're at here now really started with me saying I am a person who is moving through this thing called Lyme disease and I want to start a channel about anything and everything and then Hip Miracles is sort of the other side which is all about the power of the mind, hypnotherapy and the truth is is that it all really converges and meets together here and so if you're here those are other places that you can follow me but do subscribe to me here as well. So this week, about a week ago or less actually, I did my first Dollar Tree haul and I just have to say that literally Dollar Tree hauls have become like, I don't want to say a guilty pleasure because it's not guilty, but Dollar Tree hauls have become one of my favorite things to watch in this new age of COVID. I'm going to say chips, hold on. And so I thought, why not do one myself? And I'm really making a commitment to Putting something on this channel, no matter what it is, whether it's about Botox, whether it's about Lyme disease treatment, whether it's a Dollar Tree haul or one of my life hacks, whatever it is, making a commitment to really connecting to this because it really feels like the right time. And so before we dig into it, I have some non-Dollar Tree stuff that I'm going to haul, but then also some Dollar Tree stuff. But I want to tell you that I will be doing a video pretty soon here. Um, really focused on Lyme disease. I had SOT therapy, I had um, embryonic stem cell therapy, I had exosomes, I have had um, injectable and IV peptide therapy, I've had um, auto hemotherapy, which is um, ozone therapy, taking out my blood, ozonating and putting it back in. I have done everything. Of course, I did the antibiotics. I have done absolutely everything in my power um, to, you know, give the old one, two to Lyme disease and move forward from it. And I, I found out a few days ago that um, even after all of that treatment that I, I still tested positive. Um, so I'm gonna need um, another round of the, the SOT, which is support oligonucleotide treatment, which is like antisense oligonucleotide therapy. Basically it causes apoptosis. So basically, this IV treatment gets into my blood and for a period of six months, it works to kill all of the bad cells. And then the exosome therapy will work to bolster good cells. <sighs> it's a lot. And so right now, I'm just like, what is fun? What is de-stressing? And that is looking at all of this fun stuff that I got from Dollar Tree, from eBay, and from Amazon. And I want to share those things with you. So before we start, I have to just show start with showing you this little outfit here. These are like little shorts. So this outfit I wore in Venezia, in Venice, Italy, almost two years ago to the date. So I thought that was fun. So let's start with some textile clothing items, and then we'll jump into the um, we'll jump into the Dollar Tree stuff. So this is a new age of masks and masks are not comfortable and masks are not cute. I mean, I even have a shield over there. So um, when working face to face and doing alternative therapy and hypnotherapy um, or anything, you know, everyone is wearing masks now. And I thought this was really cool. I saw someone wearing this. I had to know more about it. They're called scarf masks. How cute is this? I don't, I've got makeup on and I don't want to get this dirty and I haven't washed this yet. It just came today from Amazon, but how cute is this? I don't know. Something different. It's got some style to it. And I think what I can do is cut a little slit here and actually put those blue paper towels in or a coffee filter to give it a little more body. Um, but I thought this was fun. And 
you know, why not? It's a little something different, try it out. I know that people actually use these to like protect their neck when they um, ride bikes sometimes. So I thought, you know what, let me give this a try, a scarf mask. It was probably $14 tax included. It has little sizable ear loops and little um, clippies on there to really keep it on. Thought that was fun. I think it was under $14, like $13.99 with tax or something. Something else. This is from, that was from Amazon. This is from eBay. How cute is this? So it's totally strapless. These little arm things here. You just put your arm in it like this. I'll, I'll wear this on my next video. Super, super cute. Love it. Super comfy. A little ruffle on the bottom. I'll try to take a picture on this and just insert it in here. But if I don't, I'll show it to you on later. Um, I don't know. I love this and it was just super cheap. I want to say it was like $10 or maybe even under. Super comfy. This little lining is like sewn in. And it's just cute. Not like I have anywhere to wear it right now, but it is just cute. So, okay, what other things do I have that are non, here it is. So this is the last non, I think, the last non Dollar Tree thing that I'm gonna be hauling. Sorry, I get out of breath sometimes. It's one of the, one of the diseases that comes along with Lyme disease, disease called Babesia. Makes you feel oxygen starved, but I'm fine, I'm doing okay here. So I got a, a message on my phone and it was from a weird number. It ended up being from FedEx saying that I had something coming today. And I'm like, well, I don't have anything coming from FedEx. I didn't buy anything. So I looked into where it was coming from. It was from ThreadUp. I honestly must have been asleep, but I ordered something from this ThreadUp place. And thank you for choosing us. I ordered something and I don't know what I ordered. So I thought it would be so much fun to open this up on camera, see it for the first time and show it to all of you. So let's do it. What did I get from Thread Up? And so while I'm opening this, I'll tell you, I'm gonna start something. I've already started them. I'm calling them friend boxes. So friend boxes are boxes that I put together and then I'm going to share. So for two of my good friends, I'm creating friend boxes, putting in things from Amazon, eBay, Dollar Tree, or any other little place that I collect things from, put it in the friend box, and after a month, gonna share the friend box with them. I also wanna do friend boxes on here. So as many as I make for friends that I know from you know work and, and my practice, I also wanna make that many for here, for the YouTube world. Um, so that means that in this next month, I'm going to make two friend boxes and I don't know if someone comments or something within that month, then you're probably going to get a friend box or at least your name will go into the friend box pool. If I don't get any comments, then I'm taking the friend box stuff. Okay, thread up. Let's see what I got. Oh my gosh, look how cute. Oh, that's so cute. It says ceiling deals since 2009. Look at you, this is cute. What did I get? Okay, okay. I am unsealing the deal. I am taking the seal off. What is this? Oh, I was basically asleep. Lyme disease can do that to you. All kinds of little things can happen. Polka dotius, okay, cute, cute. This is a maxi. Oh, I do remember this now. It's just a while ago that I ordered it. So it's super, super duper long. I love maxis, love, love, love them. This is gonna be so comfy and so adorable. Oh, I can't wait to try this on and wear it in a video. This is made by a brand called Soprano. I believe it was a size small, but remember usually I order size small or if they have it extra small. Look at the back, super duper cute. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad that I had the wherewithal to order this in the middle of the night when I was basically asleep and then give myself a surprise, yay. Okay, thank you, Thread Up, I will use you again. So this whole polka dots thing is like their Thread Up theme. I like it. I love it. I can't wait to try this on. Okay. I think that is everything that is non Dollar Tree. Well, except I do want to show you this. Look at this. This is a piece of agate. 
with a little thingy on it so you could wear it for a necklace. I'm gonna give this away to someone I'm treating in my hypnotherapy office in the near future, or my hypnotherapy practice. Here's another one. This is a rainbow moonstone in a silver setting. It's totally cool. And I already have someone special I'm gonna give this to. If you like this kind of stuff, comment, and this is the kind of stuff that can go in the friend box. So you like this kind of stuff? Maybe you want a friend box? These special little things go into friend boxes. Love it, love it. Okay, let's get into the Dollar Tree stuff, which is also stuff that goes into friend boxes. Dollar Tree stuff goes too. Let's kind of start with some food. Do you guys know about these chips? Chips. So in a small amount, chips are awesome. Chips are good. These are Zapp's brand. So it's New Orleans chips. New Orleans chips. Did I have these in my other video? Now I can't remember. But anyway, they still have them at Dollar Tree. They are amazing. This is the hot one, or what they call the voodoo spicy one. And then this is the dill one. See, that's what Lyme disease can do to you too. Did I have these in my last video? I honestly can't remember right now. But anyway, they're really, really good. Um, everything in moderation kind of thing. Check these out. They're delicious. This is also sort of a food thing. How cute are these? I know I'm not holding any movie nights with a big bunch of people right now, but I still had to get these. They're just so adorable. They're reusable. I got some kettle corn, filled these up last night, watched a movie, so cute. If you don't have these, you should get these because they're too stinking cute. I was thinking if I was a party planner, I could probably do everything for parties at the Dollar Tree. Too cool, too cute. All right, what else did I get? So this is like a new little thing that I do every time I go anywhere. It doesn't matter if it's Dollar Tree, it doesn't matter. I mean, I don't really go very many places at all, but I'm getting toilet paper everywhere I go every time I go because I was one of those people that almost ran out of toilet paper when everybody else bought all of the toilet paper. So yep, everywhere I go, I'm gonna have these sort of lining the walls in my garage for the next five years. And what else did we get? So in my last video, I showed you some really cute stuff. Um, in fact, if you didn't see that video, you should watch it because there's some cool stuff in there. But these were in there. These cute little things, they're little picture frames, right? And I'm gonna glue gun nine of them together to make a really big Power Project vision board. I can't wait to show you that in a, in a video coming up soon. Um, but this time I got these. I thought these were so cute. Best cat ever. Look at the little clippies for a picture of your best cat ever. Or cats if you have more than one. And this one, best dog ever. How cute is that? I don't know, I just thought these were so cute and you can't go wrong. These are actually really great gifts. So these are going to go in my friend boxes for this month. I just thought these were great. Um, my friends are animal people as well. And so I just knew that they would love these. So those are for them too. This next item is for the friend box. In fact, these next two items are for the friend box. So in my other video, you'll remember that I had these adorable little praying bears. I found one in pink. This is going to definitely be for my sister's baby, who they are naming Anush, which is an Armenian name. How cute. Listen. Now we're waiting to go to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. Your love be with me through the night and wake me with the morning light. Amen. Amen. How cute is that? Talking about baby stuff. So I literally found out that I have to have more IV Lyme treatment. We're looking at another basically $6,000 for the SOT, for the um, exosomes. And in the midst of all of this, I've decided that I have to freeze my eggs, that it's time to freeze my eggs. That's another $13,000. I mean, it is tough to have Lyme. And apparently it's tough to be a woman, a woman because insurance companies don't apparently want to pay for our stuff. Anyway, I'm working on changing that. So send me lots of good vibes. I'm working on starting to get insurance companies and employers to see, to see things differently, to support us. But anyway, talking about baby things, eggs, 
going on ice. I have my appointment to actually start next Wednesday. So I'll try to film something with that so you can see. So next Wednesday, I have an appointment um, regarding egg retrieval. Next Friday, I have an IV exosome appointment um, in Los Angeles. So I'm gonna try to bring you on all of these things. Getting back to the haul. So my one of my really dear friends is a knitter. They had this amazing yarn at Dollar Tree. This has got to be brand name. I should have looked it up. London K. Hashtag is I on London. I'll have to remember to try to tag that. So I on London, like I like this I. Anyway, she loves this color, the sort of Tiffany's color. I got these to put in her friend box. I think she's going to love these. And just super cute. It's got that little bit of like rustic sort of farmhouse vibe for these. So I think that she's going to love those. Those are for her. And friend stuff. Yes. What else do we have here? This is not for friend stuff. This is because my dogs steal absolutely anything. It remotely looks like a towel. They literally don't like toys. They like towels and bully sticks. Those are their toys, towels and bully sticks, whatever. Anyway, these for a dollar, really you can't go wrong. They've got the little scrubby thing on this side. And what's great about these is they can be soaking wet. You wring them out and they're completely dry. I like these for a dollar. Oops, you can't go wrong. A couple other things. I have a weird thing about huge things of detergent. I cannot stand big things of detergent. They're messy. This is messy right now, actually. It's all sticky. I just have a thing about being able to use these little things, which you can get at the Dollar Tree. Oops, almost dropped that there. It's funny how motor skills can be affected by, by um, Lyme disease too. Anyway, these little things are super cute. There, I keep them in a little basket. And I don't know, it's just so much cuter, it's so much easier, it's so much cleaner, just a couple of uses, recycle it, and I just keep it on this cute little basket. I don't know, I just like these better than those huge things that are really hard for me to maneuver. And really, they're not, it doesn't cost any more to do it this way. Um, in fact, it's either the same or maybe even a little bit less. I don't know, I just like these and I, I really like this detergent. It doesn't make me itch, but it works. So anyway, if you like the idea of keeping a little detergent blossom on a little basket um, in your laundry room, instead of having that big sort of unsightly, heavy dripping thing, give these a try. So what else do I have here? This is a small one, but I don't know. I thought this was so crazy. Look at this. This is an eight by 10 frame. It's super cute. It's black. This was a dollar. How could this be a dollar? It's just like almost unbelievable that this could be a dollar. I thought that was good. I'm going to put a picture of Bella. Bella's one of my bullies. Um, I'll try to remember to show that to you when I do. All right, what else do we have? This is just very much a random haul of just very, very much random things. I left some food thing out earlier. Haribo. If you like gummies at all, and if you at all are a fan of Haribo, this is the Sour Goldie Bears, the really are gold bears. You can't go wrong with these, they're good. And you only need like one or two of them. And then you're like, okay, that's enough. I got my gummy bear fix kind of a thing. So the next two things I'm gonna show you here have, actually three things have nothing to do with each other, but I'm gonna show them to you anyway. So I usually don't like using makeup face wipes, but I got these a while back and I'm kind of into them. They actually really work. Um, if I've dyed my hair and I've gotten any like black around on my skin, which I may have right now because I did just dye my roots. Um, my hair is dark brown, but not quite this dark. Anyway, this, take it to it. And these literally will get dye off of my skin. And what else I like about these is, let me see if, I don't think you'll be able to see this on camera, but we'll see. They're really damp. So they're not like so damp that they're dripping and they're not dry at all. These are amazing. They really do wipe off makeup. And then after I've used this on my face, then I do use water to rinse off any residue that may have been on here from cleaner. This is the lavender scent. And it does, it smells like lavender. I like these. For a dollar, you cannot go wrong with those. 
So the other day, Bella, one of my one of my bullies, one of my doggies, was so excited to get her food. I've been feeding her fresh food now. Um, and I have to say myollie.com, Ollie Fresh Food is the best fresh dog food and I've tried all of them. Anyway, she loves it so much. She's freaking out, she wanted it, she wanted it and she went like this and scratched a piece of my antique furniture. I always say, and this is why we can't have nice things, but we do, we do. But I thought this was kind of fun. I don't know, I mean, I think this will work. We need to have nice things. So I got this little, this was in the tool area. It's made by their brand Tool Bench. And these are furniture scratch markers. So I'm gonna use probably the maple one. Let's see what these look like. So this is in the color maple. Let's see, I'll do it on my skin. Oh yeah, yeah. So it's just like a marker, but that's gonna fill in the little scratch on there. And then I don't have to see the scratch. And if I don't have to see it, I don't know it's there. And if I don't know it's there, then it doesn't bother me. So that works for me. I might even use this darker one. This one says that it's cherry. The wood's not cherry that she scratched. I think it's either oak or maple, but yeah, you can't really see that, but this is the one I'm gonna use. Anyway, for a dollar, you know, you can't go wrong. If you have dogs or probably kids, these would probably come in handy because somehow or another, stuff gets scratched. So getting close to the end of this short little haul. So a couple things that I've learned in the midst of COVID-19, sheltering in place and all of the things um, in terms of us being really sort of isolated and in a different space now is that me who wanted to be a bachelorette forever, didn't want anyone or anything to hold me, hold me back. Um, I think I've changed my mind. So we're, we're gonna see how things are gonna go because dating is so much easier now, right? Wrong, it's, don't even know how this is gonna work, but I guess we're all gonna figure it out. Um, I have decided to maybe sort of do a little bit of manifesting in a very simple way, nothing you know, wild. But in my last haul, you saw that I got a little marriage blackboard, a chalkboard. Um, you know, this is the day we met. This is our favorite song kind of a thing. And just kind of bringing in some of that energy for a partner into my space, you know, praying about it, but also just doing little things to shift the energy around me. One of those things is also freezing my eggs. But so I got these. This is a Miz and Mr. Thing, or Ms. to Mrs., pardon me. So Ms. to Mrs. So technically I'm a doctor, got a PhD, but I still think this is pretty cute. So Ms. to Mrs. So kind of fun. I mean, it's just the idea of letting that kind of energy in that says that, yeah, I am open to that now. So let's see what we have here. The Miss one, Miss Pink, super cute. Don't know. So I don't think these smell, but they're really cute. These little kind of teeny weeny mason jar type things. And we've got like an orange and then a mauve. Super cute. Let me see if I can hold these in a way that you can actually see what they say. Miss to Mrs. Adorable. So I don't know, just throwing it out there, putting it in the universe, putting the energy out there. And we'll see what good energy comes my way with those. I'll keep you posted. So I think that that is it. That was kind of fun. It was a quick one. It was a fun one. But those are some of the things that I got the last time I went to Dollar Tree. And I'm going to be um, slowly but surely putting stuff into my friend's boxes. And I'm looking forward to giving the friend boxes away to my two friends and coworkers, but I'm also looking forward to giving friend boxes away on here. If you, I'm just making this up and doing it as I go, but if you want to get a friend box from me, um, then comment down below. And if two people comment, then two people are getting friend boxes. If a bunch of people comment, then we'll pick some names out of the comments type of thing. But um, fun stuff, I'm gonna try to wear this in my next video, or oh, wait, maybe I should wear this. You gotta check out this thread up. I'm just I'm stoked that I used the app. I just didn't remember until this came in the mail, but 
Anyway, comment below if you haven't subscribed. Um, please do subscribe if you have Lyme disease. <sighs> know that I get it in my own way. And I'm sorry that you have to go through this. It's so frustrating. Um, if you're facing any kind of chronic illness, um, same thing to you. And if you're just having a crappy day, I feel for you. And if you're having a great day, good, because that's what life's all about. Um, next time I see you here, I'm going to show you a couple of little hacks or just things that I really, really like and what you can do with it. And then next week, I'm going to take you to a egg freezing fertility appointment. And I'm also going to take you to an exosome IV treatment appointment. So much love to you. Follow me on Instagram and here, and I'll see you soon. Try